Okay, so you mentioned that we're, we're in the Court Exchange Building and this is something that the, the council has kind of, um, a little bit of help from the council. Now you yeah. said this isn't a council thing, so what has been the involvement um, okay. with, with Well, we've recognised that major employers like the council or like the hospitals or like the universities could play a really important part in making the currency significant in the economy. So if the council, for example, were able to procure just some of their services, I mean, they spend, what, 400 million in the local area or something every year. The hospitals spend a billion. Um, uh, if uh, just a small amount of that were diverted to local people that isn't at the moment in terms of, of them doing the work, then they could make a massive influence on, on the success of this currency. So we've talked to the council about that, and we've also talked to them about whether our, our businesses, might, there might be a way for them to pay their business rates. And we've found a way for that to happen through Bristol Credit Union. Um, so that's really encouraging, so that no business need ever be worried about getting landed with any Bristol pans. If they, they, they may be able to pay their staff in them, they may be able to find local suppliers, but if in the last resort they can't find a way of moving on their Bristol pants, they can pay their business rates. Okay. Um, so the council can play a really useful part, but it's not a council project. And we will be looking for the other, other major employers in the city to play their role too. Okay, so how um, do, would people physically get hold of Bristol pounds if it's something that they wanted to start endorsing? Yeah, well, what we'd like to do is put a challenge to people to set aside so much a month of their monthly income to try to spend in the local economy and either make a standing order to the Bristol Pound account or actually do it through their employer. And we're going to major employers and saying, invite your staff to take some of their monthly wage in Bristol Pounds. Um, that, that will be like a commitment to people. It will credit their accounts like, they, like a normal bank account and then they can either use that money directly through their mobile phone or by making internet payments or they can withdraw cash at various outlets around the city um, in Bristol pounds to spend and coffee shops and that sort of thing and we'll have one five ten and twenty pound notes okay so yep there was um on your website there was an open forum for people bristolians i assume to be able to design the what goes on to the bristol pound is that closed already, or is that still no, open? No, it starts to today. Oh, it starts today. Okay. The, so we're, we're opening up the design of the notes to the whole community. We've produced templates for each of the four notes, 1, 5, 10, and 20. Um, and there's a hole in the middle, and we're looking for the people of Bristol to say what goes there. And we're inviting everyone from primary school children, students, adults, professional designers, um, all of them to contribute their ideas to what should be on the notes. The design brief is on the website and it's also going to be published, I understand, in the Evening Post tomorrow. Um, so everybody gets a chance to say what goes on their notes. Okay. And it's just lastly, um, you know, the contacts that people can kind of get through to you and what, whether they've got questions, they want to get involved, they want to help volunteer, or they yeah. want to get pounds, what all well, those details. Well, we are looking to um, recruit lots of volunteers to go around talking to their friends and neighbours, their communities and to other and to, and to businesses in the next few months. Um, go to the bristolpound.org and um, sorry, it's bristolpound.org mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and you'll be able to sign on there and say your interest, uh, say you'd like to join, open an account when it's possible but also you're able to volunteer. And we're having um, a whole series of public events around the city in the next few weeks. The first one's at Hamilton House on the 16th at 7.30. Um, and there we'll tell people more about the scheme, get their ideas about what would be good to do, and invite them to volunteer to help. Um, yeah. And so we, we aim to have 100 volunteers or more um, helping us spread the word about the Bristol Pound in the next few weeks. OK, and last, last question. Um, in this time next year... How, as the people have kind of been organising this, how will you judge whether it has been a success or not? Just, just a year's kind of plan in the future. What is it you're going to be looking for over the next year? I want to see um, a, a really substantial number of businesses joining and more, more joining all the time. Um, a significant, like, um, multi-million pound amount of currency in circulation. Um, and I want to see people still excited about it and, and traders putting up their offers on the website, getting more footfall into their shops, um, 
because it's just great advertising for local businesses, the, the, the actual printed note will be a fantastic means of attracting attention to local businesses. Um, and I think probably, I, I suppose the best thing for me would be if, if the city had some heart about itself, had some, some new pride, some new, people were walking a bit more, you know, proudly about being Bristolian because, because we had our currency and because we were supporting it together. Okay, well thanks a lot for taking the time to speak to South Bless and we'll probably catch up soon. Thank you.